world. Omoni was showered with attention and love. Omoni was the only daughter in a family of six children. She was the jewel of her father's eye and the apple of her mother's heart. Her parents adored her and her five brothers cherished her like she was a rare treasure. Being the only girl in the household, Omoni was showered with attention and love. But that love came with a downside. She was pampered to the point of being spoiled. Unlike her brothers, who were taught to be independent and responsible, Omoni was not allowed to do anything at home. If she wanted something, it was given to her. If something needed to be done, it was done for her. Cooking, cleaning, even making her bed. These were chores that Omoni never had to worry about. Her brothers did their own chores and her parents hired house help to ensure Omoni's hands remained unblemished. As Omoni grew older, her parents began to notice her lack of basic domestic skills. But by then, it was too late to change her habits. She had grown into a beautiful young woman, but she was undeniably lazy. She had no idea how to cook, clean, or manage a household, and she didn't care. She had been raised to believe that her beauty and charm would be enough to carry her through life. One day, Omoni met Osas, a handsome and hard-working Edo man, who fell in love with her at first sight. But Omoni's lazy attitude was too obvious that Osas soon found out about it. However, when Osas found out that Omoni was pampered and wasn't very domesticated, he did not mind. He believed that love and patience would help her grow into the wife he needed. He was willing to help her learn and adjust to married life and he was confident that she would eventually change for the better. Omoni and Osas got married in a lavish wedding. Her parents spared no expense in making sure that their only daughter had the wedding of her dreams. Osas too put in his all to make sure that the day was perfect. As they stood before the altar, promising to love and cherish each other for the rest of their life, Osas looked into Omoni's eyes and believed that they were embarking on a beautiful journey together. The first few months of their marriage were blissful. Osas, who was an excellent cook, took it upon himself to prepare their meals. He would make delicious soups and stew, always ensuring that there was something special for Omoni to enjoy. He even hired a cleaner who came regularly to tidy up the house so that Omoni wouldn't feel overwhelmed by household chores. Omoni on her part was grateful to have married such a wonderful and understanding man. She loved Osas deeply and appreciated all that he did for her. But despite her gratitude, she made no effort to change her lazy ways. Instead of trying to learn how to cook or take care of the house, she spent her days lazing around, scrolling through her phone and watching TV. Osas never complained. But deep down, he was beginning to feel frustrated as Omoni was making no effort. One morning, a few months into their marriage, Osas had to leave for work early. He had an important meeting and needed to be at the office by 6 a.m. As he got ready to leave, he asked Omoni for a small favor. Darling, I made some black soup last night and it is in the pot. Please warm it up for me later so that I can have it for dinner when I come back. Omoni, who was half asleep, mumbled a response. Okay, I'll do it. Osa smiled, although he was a bit skeptical. He knew Omoni's track record when it came to domestic tasks, but he was hopeful that she would at least manage to warm up the soup. After all, it was just a simple request. As soon as Osas left, Omoni drifted back to sleep and completely forgot about the soup. She spent the rest of the day in bed, lazily snacking on nuts and chips. 
and her phone never left her hand. She watched videos, chatted with friends, and indulged in her favorite pastime of doing nothing. It wasn't until 5 p.m., one hour before Osas was due to return home, that Omoni suddenly remembered the soup. She panicked as she realized that she had not even gotten out of bed, let alone warmed up the soup. She quickly jumped out of bed and rushed to the bedroom to freshen up, hoping to at least appear presentable when Osas arrived home. After her bath, she hurried into the kitchen and opened the pot where the soup was in. As soon as she lifted the cover, a foul odor filled the air. The soup had gone bad, spoiled from being left unwarmed for too long. Omoni wrinkled her nose in disgust, but she did not know what else to do. In a panic, she lit the cooker and began to warm the spoiled soup hoping to mask the smell with heat. Osas walked through the door at exactly 6 p.m. He was tired but looked forward to a relaxing evening with his wife. Unfortunately, as he entered the house, he was hit by a sour smell that made him almost throw up. He knew immediately that something was wrong. What is that smell? Osas asked as he walked towards the kitchen. Omoni, who was standing by the cooker, looked up at him guiltily. I am warming the soup like you asked, she said, trying to sound innocent. Out of shock, Osas rushed over to the pot and lifted the lid, shifting backwards at the stench that greeted him. The soup, his favorite black soup, was completely ruined. He had spent hours cooking it the night before, using the freshest ingredients and the perfect blend of spices. Now, it was nothing but a foul-smelling mess. Omoni, what have you done? Osas shouted. He was obviously angry and disappointed. 